Brakat the hour, Brakat the hour shy, Brakat the hour, Brakat the hour shy, Brakat the hour, Brakat the hour shy. All praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh shy. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and honors and salutations to all you Akim out there that's uh, laboring in the truth and sincerity without wavering. And um, <clears throat> as you see, it's another GMS and route live, and you know the title is just not reality, and that's it's, it's really um honestly was inspired just laying back and off a, a video with Apostle Gabor you know and let me say uh shalom to you Yakim out there you know double honor to the apostles out there that may be watching you know the uh, elders bishops and the rest of you Akim out there in Aquas and again like I said this lesson is inspired by excuse me by a video that I was watching that Apostle Gabor did based off a video that um the brother uh the beloved brother Kazak did Right, this guy right here. All right, the brother Kazak did, which um, it's, it's called Bad Ideal. It's, I don't know who the guy was. It was some guy. He, he, you know, he put a, he put forth a decree. He put forth a decree. He, he came in all boldness and said, all the camp leaders, he's, he's commanding everybody got to come together right now. All right, so that's that's what the premises of this. Just laying back and off of the thing, the issue because. The, uh, I mean the shows that those brothers put up because this seemed to be like a, a reoccurring thing a lot of different Jake they they uh they sit there and they're looking for you know all which I I say this much Romans 11 and 26 yes that's that's written all Israel should be saved but when is that talking about that's not talking about now if you I mean the street that I'm on right now if you just seen you see these Jakes out here they out here they look like they high on on a uh, uh, bath salt and everything he was just sitting there doing a funky chicken that's why i looked i said man but the reality of it is is that not all israel is going to be saved this go round. see and that's what a lot of times and that's why you can't be emotional in this truth you know and it's in the lord's truth you can't be emotional because there's a lot of people out here that's going to die man it's going to be a lot of oh his name was okay some wi-fi okay the water the water okay ain't amos I thought he was a dude that might have went back to one west he looked familiar like somebody but nonetheless the dude was, the dude was off he and, and i'm gonna hit some scriptures okay the uh the apostle Gabor, his show if you haven't watched it of course which you brothers already know and, and by the way he's on a uh a, you know they um what you call it, suspended his other channel so now he's on uh the date i think it's the daily edification if a brother knows the, the site put it in the comment board um I got it in, you know, on my videos, but you know, right now I can't pull it up. But um, he went into it and he, he broke broke it down. And, and the thing is, is that Jake is emotional, man. And this guy's sitting there; he's not thinking real realistically. Like even like in, in a lot of things, you got to be realistic in, in his truth. You got to think like you can't. You know, the scriptures say he that uh, uh, sows sparingly shall reap sparingly, and that's just a rea reality. You, you, you get what you put in you know what i'm saying if you ain't if you don't put that hard work in you can't accept the the reward you know at the end of the, end of the day if you ain't sit there and, and, and commit yourself to this truth when all hell break loose you can't expect the, the lord to really want to sit there now all of a sudden you want to get on fire because a lot of jay could do that when they see shit happening then now all of a sudden they want to start doing the things that they should have been doing a long time ago so it's not realistically it's not realistic that all the camps are going to come together. The scriptures say, can two walk together except they be agreed? Now, matter of fact, with me saying that, let me see if I can pull this. You got a lot of nuts out there, man. Got a lot of guys that are out of their goddamn mind, man. They, they just, you know, just teaching all kind of madness, man. And what? And before I bring that out, let me go to the scriptures in uh, 1 Corinthians. I was going to show you show a video. I don't know if you've probably seen. I'm going to show it still. But I'm, I'm going to read the scripture first in 1 Corinthians 1 and 10. I mean, and this is sort of repetitive, but the most high is repetitive. And a lot of Jake is hard at it, you know. I remember one time, you know, um, Pastor Tar told us a story about it. It was a dude named Yaasa. 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 Well, he was called Yaasa, but um, his name was Yaasa, Yaasa, which is supposed to be Josiah. But anyway, he used to do the videos with the apostle. And the apostle Tar, y'all know his man he used to be getting on him all the time you know and then he said so i guess one day the, he couldn't take it he said look man you always getting 
Okay, through water. I, yep, daily edification, exhortation three. That's the Apostle Gabar's new channel. That's his new channel. But so, you know, Pastor, because the dude was going off. I'm just going off, going off. So rebuke your neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So he got so mad, he he, he, he said, he said, look, man, you just keep keep on nagging, no, hammering and hammering. Well, he said, that's the spirit of the Most High. That's what the word Maccabee means. He said, the Most High is like that. He keeps hammering and hammering and hammering and hammering. So that's why a lot of times the scriptures say, as it is written. Because why? The, the Most High deals with it. Because you know how Jake, Jake is hard headed, man. Jake is hard headed. And no matter how many times you tell Jake that, look, not all, you know, not all Jake is going to come together this trip. The Most High is not going to bring us. All together, the Lord Yahweh Shai said He come to separate the the sheep from the goats. All right, you got a lot of goats. You got a lot of hirelings. You got a lot of niggas that sold out. That's not really about Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai. And the Lord is making it manifest now who are His in these last days. You seeing who's really for this truth and who's not. All right, so not everybody. That's not realistic. So when you come with that mentality, you know you, you're using your emotions. You're not judging by what the scriptures say. Now again, this is First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 10 it says now I beseech you brethren by the name of our Lord Yahweh Shai we could stop right there a lot of people a lot of Israelites I'm talking about right now I'm speaking about Israelites I'm not even speaking about the two-thirds or whatever you got a lot of different Israelites that think that it's okay, okay to call the Lord whatever you want they don't value the importance of the name of the Lord even though in the law it says thou should not take the name of the Lord in vain and when you look up that word in vain it means as worthless or as nothing all right you're not supposed to just uh, uh, speak like oh yeah yeah th th you call him whatever you want i mean we know his name ain't ain't uh jesus christ but you could call it. that's bullshit all right his, his name is very important so the lord said he said by the name of our lord yahweh shai that ye all speak the same thing and that there be no divisions among you but that you be perfectly joined together in the same mind and in the same judgment. So that's that's right there. That that tells you right there that that's not going to ha happen, man. It's not going to happen. We're not going to all come together on this side. All right? All because you got guys out there that's, that refuse to speak the same thing. All right? And the thing that we we've always pushed is what? The scriptures, man. All right? The scriptures. That's all we ever pushed. Is the scriptures that uh whatever the scriptures say because why that's what yahweh shai said he said he that believeth on me as the scripture have said out of his mouth shall flow rivers of living water so it goes back to what the scriptures say all right so that's just a re that's just a reality you're not gonna have like you got guys that that are part of uh gocc uh with uh you know so-called elder rakai or bubble eyes as we call them they're not gonna come out of that talking about edomites could be saved. A lot of them, they teach that. They they, they teach that the name of the, the Most High is a higher, and all this other nonsense. They're not gonna they're not gonna come out of that, man. Beautiful scripture, I, uh, Proverbs fourteen and twelve. And yeah, there is a way which seemeth right into the uh, to a man, but the end there of our death. So at the end of the day, a lot of these, even though they're Israelite groups, and some of them you might like them, some you might know, some of them you might be cool with them. Or, Knew him from whatever point or went through whatever you went through. There's plenty of, of of brothers that I came up in this thing with that I that are no longer either amongst me or that's back in the world or that's bugged out on some other doctrine. And you know, through the, I, I accept it, man. Because at the end of the day, I'm working on my own salvation like the rest of you brothers are. That's what it boils down to. That's the, the severity and the seriousness of this truth. You got to work out your own salvation, man. All right. And and, and the scriptures say that. You know, hey, even if you brought a brother, so to speak, into the, you know, that you was teaching him and everything, the Lord used you to teach him, then he fall off. The Lord said, you still going to, as long as you continue to do what you're supposed to do, you're still going to receive your reward. You know, that's right. That's another good one. Ecclesiastes 39, told you, you're on, you're on fire. I, that's a good scripture, man. So that's just, again, that's just the reality of it, man. And you're going to keep having guys saying, why can't we, because why? They're dealing with their emotions, man. All right, and that's why you're not, the scriptures say, the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness, which is what goes into your emotions, man. Please ask us 18 and 20, examine thyself and in a day of visitation, thou shalt find mercy. Yeah, yeah, that's a good scripture too, man. 
That's a good scripture too. Yep. Oh, but y'all on fire, man. And see, and, and, and that's the beautiful thing. Like you brothers are posting scriptures, and at the end of the day, you can't leave from the understanding that's in the scriptures, man. And that's what a lot of these guys do because they might, for whatever reason, they might like the way a, a different guy speaks or he's, you got a lot of these dudes and it's never been personal, you know, they might think it's personal and yeah, we get angry, we might curse these dudes out or whatever, but it's not, it's never been a personal thing. We understand that somebody got played at two thirds. We're hoping that we're part of the elect, the one third. All right, that's what we worried about and, and concerned with. And as far as the doctrines that they put out, we got it, we're commanded to stomp them out. All right, and then when they speak against this truth, the Lord said what? Every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment, thou shalt condemn. So that's what the Lord commanded us to do. But at the end of the day, it's not, not personal, you know? And again, shout out to all you Akim out there. So it says, uh, for it have been declared. Okay, no, that, that's it on that one. So now this is Matthew's, uh, Matthew's chapter 20, verse 16. It says, so the last shall be first and the first last. For many be called, but few chosen. You see, and that's a key, that's a key point. There's few brothers that's gonna be cho chosen in this thing, man. All right, and then that makes me go to Matthew's uh Matthew 7 and, and, and 13. And see, and went back before the splits happened, went going back to, to uh, one west, before all the splits, the house of David and everything that happened, back then it was about the elect. We taught about the elect. See, pretty much through the spirit of Yahweh Bashmi Shai, from the head elder apostles on down, we're continuing in the same spirit or teaching the same things that we've been teaching. We ain't changed the doctrine, man. All right. Now there's certain things, of course, this truth is, is progressive. There's things that are revealed in its time. So of course we, we we have more knowledge and wisdom and understanding than what we have back in those times, which is a heavy thing. All right. Because back then there were certain things that we didn't know. But now we know him clearly, you see. But um, right now the Lord blessed us because why? We had a, a, a different time, and at the end of the day, it goes back to the, the doctrine. But back then it was always taught about the elect because it's about the elect of Israel. At the end of the day, the elect of Israel is the ones that's going to make it out of here. That's why the Lord said, "I will be into them." And um, what's that? Jeremiah, I mean Ezekiel, pardon me. Uh, it's, it's small sanctuaries. And I'll, I'll get that. Wait, hold up. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Yeah, pardon me. Ele Ezekiel 11. Ezekiel 11, 16. It says, Therefore, say, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, although I have cast, cast them far off amongst the heathen, and although I have scattered them among the countries, and we see that today. Our people were scattered all through, throughout the four corners of the earth. That's why you have the Israelite foreigners. You just had uh, the Greek freak, uh, uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo, or what I ain't even gonna try to say his name right. But um, he just wanted, you know, they crowning him the king or whatever. He threw a 50 piece up in the NBA finals. He's an Israelite. He don't know it. <laughs> he don't know it probably. Or maybe he do because a lot of them watch the shows. But he's an Israelite. So that, that just to prove that, that the Lord scattered Israel throughout the four corners of the earth. And then you have Israelites that look like these other nations, man. And that's Habakkuk 1 and 5. That's what that really goes into. All right? And, and the, uh, the apostles brought it back out in, in Acts the 14th chapter. That's what that's really talking about, man. All right? Stand ye among the heathen and marvel. For I work a work in your, your day, though it be told to you, you in no wise believe it, though a man declare it unto you. So that was speaking about what? These other Israelites that are all over the place. So the Lord is saying, look, even though I scattered you amongst them, yet will I be, be to them as a little sanctuary in the countries where they shall come. Prophetic, meaning what? The, uh, at this, in our time of our captivity. Because Jake is scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. That's why in the camps you see what? You don't see a, 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 a wide range, big ass camps. I mean, some camps, they might be uh, uh, bigger than other camps, maybe, possibly. Right, but you don't see it as as much because why? The Lord said he's gonna be a small sanctuary. All right. So now, and again, these are scriptures that I know that you brothers all know. These are basic scriptures, but you got to go through the basics because you got a lot of jakes out there that 
still are ignorant, ignorant to how the Most High is doing these things, man, the will of the Most High. The, the Lord's will is not to wake up all of Israel right now. You see, that's why they, you got the two thirds. That's why they keep coming up against us. They don't understand. They come in with these false doctrines because the Most High got them in that state of mind. The Lord said he would choose their delusions. And brothers, you got a lot of delusional Israelites out there, man. And matter of fact, all right, it's a perfect time for me. If I could pull it up, if I could find it, I'm going to show you. And every day you got new nuts coming out of the woodworks, man. Coming up with doctrines that you never even heard about before, man. Brother sent me this. I said, what the fuck is this? Let me see if it plays. So he got the part contained in this book where Judas, the traitor, went and bought a lamb for Passover and the Messiah. Say, get out of here, boy. Ain't nobody killing no lamb. Ain't nobody, boy. Ain't nobody killing no lamb. Ain't nobody eating no lamb. I ain't never ate no meat, no nothing. I've been a vegetarian all my life. We ain't eating that mess. And Judas was so enraged so, with so wait, wait a minute. You heard, you heard what he said? He said, look, he said the Messiah, he's speaking about the Lord, rebuked Judas Iscariot because he brought a lamb to the Passover. Right? And he said that Yahweh Shai, exactly. He said Yahweh Shai said that he was, a he, he was a vegan all his life. Where did he get that from? So this is why we can't come together, man. Exactly. I uh, supremely super bugged out, man. All right? The brother sent me down. I was like, well, what the fuck? But every day you got niggas that, you know, and this dude is bucked. He's all dead serious and everything. He's out of his goddamn mind, man. Yeah, that's right. That dude's a madman. That's right, huh? He's out of his mind. But so how are we going to come together with guys that are in that type of mentality, man? Guys that don't believe in the, the MOB or the mark. Guys telling you to go get jabbed up and everything. When here it is, people are dying and everything. And the Lord told you not to get jabbed up. You got people out there damn, damn telling you to go vote. Be a part of this world and everything, man. Cause they don't believe that the destruction is coming. They don't believe, even though all hell is breaking loose, they don't believe. But you got a lot of nuts out there, bro. All right? And, and, and matter of fact, hold on, man. Hold on, I'm get I'm get something real quick. And the scriptures warned us of all of this, man. It warned us of all of these things, man. This is uh, 2 Timothy chapter 4 and 1. It said, I charge thee, therefore, before the Most High and the Lord Yahweh Shai, who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing in his, his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant in season. You got guys that believe that you don't have, you can take time off. You can teach when you want to teach. You can preach when you want to preach. You got guys that believe that, man. We believe what the scriptures say. The scriptures say be instant, man. Be, be ready. In season, out of season. Meaning all year long, you're supposed to be out prophesying the word of the Lord, man. Right? But you got guys that don't believe that. So you can't come together with them. It's not reality. You got guys that talk about we're not in the time of going. To, they, and they've been saying this for years. We're not in the time of camping. What are you talking about, man? The way the Lord brought all of us in here is by the, uh, the the apostles and elders and the leaders before them going out on the highways and the byways teaching his word and we've seen it, whether we've seen it through video or actually passing by. You see? Yeah, that's a good scripture. Yep, false, false messiahs are going to come up. And you got a lot of these bugged out niggas out here, man. You know? So it says, preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, so when we do videos about other Israelite groups, if they teaching a, a, a wrong doctrine or whatever, it ain't personal, but they get mad. We don't give a damn. Isaiah 58 and 1. All right? And the Lord is a respect of no persons, man. All right? When, when, when you speaking on something that's right from the scriptures, nobody ain't got shit to say. We don't got shit to say. That's why we don't lean to our own understanding. But a lot of guys, they get offended. They think that we're being uh, personal. or nothing, And then it gets all crazy. You know, it ain't nothing personal. It's just spiritual spiritual business, man. All right? The, really, the issue you got is with the Most High. All right? Whether you believe what we're saying or not. Because the Most High is the one that's going to judge you. All right? We're just reading the word. And if you were wise, you would take heed. It says, uh, preach the word, be instant, in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Long suffering meaning you can't turn your back on the, the uh the ministry you can't turn away and say you know what i've done that i'm tired of doing that i, I need to do some other stuff nah then you're not 
you know, you're not showing no, no long suffering, man. You see, you know, the scriptures tell you that the most high is long suffering. He don't count slackness like men. All right. So the Lord, Lord is on. If the Lord is on something, he on it, man. And that's why we're supposed to be hot. We're not supposed to be lukewarm. You know? Right, iron sharpened of iron, yep, yep. But now with, with these these other guys, they're not even iron though. There's there's some bullshit plastic or something like that, man. Yeah. Yeah, yep, yep. John the Baptist knew the fair season and Sadducees was wicked. And the Spirit of the Lord rejected them. That's right. That's right. So it says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. So we're in that time. That time is coming. Sound doctrine is what? What's sound doctrine? Sound doctrine meaning what? The scriptures, right? And matter of fact, let's get that word, word sound. I brought it out before. Let's just go into it again real quick. Just for the sake of uh, edification. All right, so this is the word for sound doctrine. If it plays, might not, still not playing. Oh, there Strong's G5198, Hugiano. Hugiano. Right, so Hugiano, which means to be sound, to be well, to be in good health, all right, of one who keeps the grace and is, is strong. The grace is what? The scriptures. But it said to be health, healthy, right? Which what? Is to be whole or wholesome. So what's the wholesome uh, uh, truth or the wholesome thing that's going to keep you healthy and keep you sound and as well as clear-minded? The scriptures, the truth. That's why we got to go back to what the scriptures say, man. All right? The Baruch 4 and 1. Yeah, that's, that's a beautiful scripture, man. All right? And the Lord has endured forever. Yup. So that's why it goes back to the scriptures. This is what is sound doctrine. So when the scriptures uh, speak on the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, Meaning what? They're going to start going, coming with an unhealthy doctrine. You got some people that's like the churches that tell you that the laws are done away with, which that's unhealthy. All right? You got them? Because that's the case you can commit adultery. You can go murdering. You, you know, you can eat pork, shrimp, lobster, which that's not the case because Romans 3 and 31 cuts that. We're supposed to establish the law. But you got these guys out there that are not dealing with sound doctrine. That's why you got this guy sitting up there. I mean, it. A little more a brother sent me the video some of y'all brothers seen it already i'm pretty sure but he's sitting up there saying that yahweh shai rebuked judas the scared because he brought a lamb to the passover because yahweh shai was a vegetarian so he's saying yahweh shai was condemning him saying that you wasn't supposed to have a lamb for the passover nigga the scriptures tell you yahweh shai he ate lamb man he had them go prepare the, the lamb and everything all right so what where, where, where the hell did you get that what scripture said Yahweh Shai was a vegan and, and he cursed Judas Iscariot out for bringing a lamb to the Passover. All right, where, where did that come from, man? When Yahweh Shai was the one to go tell them to prepare the, the Passover. All right, so that just shows you these nuts that's out here, man. And we can't deal with it. But the scriptures say some will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust, so they heap to themselves teachers having itching ears, man. All right. It says, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. But watch thou in all things, endure afflictions. So that, that's what we got to do. We got to continue to watch. We got to, because uh, you got a lot of demons. That's another reason, reason why it's not reality for everybody to come together. Because you got agents throughout all these different camps. You got, like the Apostle Gabor went to his show. You got niggas that's not coming in the spirit of righteousness. They're not coming in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. They come in with these different uh, uh, angles. And that's how the splits and everything happened because you had demons that were in the in the midst. Like the discomforter. All right? The discomfort. How you going to sit there and be buddy-buddy? And you still got niggas that still think this big black marshmallow that the Most High already done laid them down, put them to death. You got people that sit there and still uh, waiting on them and still believing in them. You can't, you know? And then that, uh, in the last scripture I'm, I'm going to get, because like I said, I mean, I ain't going to beat this into the ground, but it is a, a good point and you got to take heed because that spirit be flying off on a lot of people and they be wondering why, you know, which at the end of the day, 
this is for the elect, man. We don't get, it's like, if you're not part of the elect, then this ain't for you. If you got a problem teaching, then obviously this go find, go find your light. Go find the, the uh, whatever sap suckers that you're looking for, man. All right? Because look, when Yahweh was here, he, he didn't look to go buddy buddy with the Pharisees, them wicked ass Pharisees, them wicked Sadducees. Yahweh Shai ain't trying to get with them, them niggas and wicked rulers of Israel back then. He was cursing them out, actually, rebuking them and everything, because he knew they was full of shit. So if that's your spirit, go find them niggas, man. All right? We're going to follow after the spirit of Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai did not look to go gather. He, he said, look, you're going to separate his sheep from, from the goats. Then uh, Luke 12 chapter, he said, suppose you that I come to, to bring peace. He said, I tell you, yay, but rather division. Because why? Yahweh said, this, this, a lot of people got to die, man. Now in the kingdom, of course, the kingdom, we all going to be cool. It ain't going to be no animosity or, you remember that time you were scarred? Nah, that's done. Because we're going to be changed, all right? And, and, and scoffers and the two-thirds are going to come back in their right mind. That's why the scriptures say all of thy people should be righteous. Because why? In the kingdom, I ain't talking about now. Right now, that ain't going to happen, man. The most I got a lot of these niggas slated for destruction. All right, so um, it? oh yeah, I'm look at the last scripture in uh, Second Corinthians, I think it's six and six and fourteen. Second Corinthians six and fourteen. Be ye not unequally yoked together with unbelievers. So if you ain't believing into the scriptures, like here it is, you got a lot of these guys, uh, uh, Daniela, uh. You got Daniela, you got, uh, what's the, uh, what's the brother's name? Um, Tazaria. You got all these different guys that are Israelites that sit there and they buddy buddy with this wicked ass nigga, Sarnetta, who, who flip flops and basically he's not for the truth or not for the most side, right? So you got all these guys that buddy buddy with this guy and the scriptures speak against it. So here it is, they buddy buddying with these guys. We can't buddy, we can't uh, link up with these, even though they might be cool brothers, you, if you know them or whatever. You know, uh, Daniel is pretty much a cool brother. He pops hard, tell you about him, which is cool and everything. But at the end of the, end of the day, the line is in the sand, man. It's either you for Yahweh Shai or you're not. And if you support somebody that's, that's against Yahweh Shai, then, then you ain't really with Yahweh Shai, all right? And the Yahweh Shai said, he that gathereth not, scattereth abroad. Okay? So you, you can't sit there and play both sides of the fence at the end of the day. Now, of course, scriptures say, if possible, live peaceably with all men. So if you're able to, of course, you keep, you know, you keep it cordial. But at the end of the day, we don't stand with none of these uh, unbelieving ass niggas, man. If you're unbelieving, first of all, you're a traitor, man. If you're speaking against Yahweh Shai, why the fuck? But I want to be with a traitor ass nigga, man. Somebody that's against the most side. Somebody that's against Yahweh Shai. That don't even got the right to even fucking open their mouth to say anything against Yahweh Shai, but they talking all kind of shit. How the fuck would I want to be around you? All right? And the scriptures tell us that we're supposed to hate the evil. King David said, look, Lord, I hate all of thy enemies with a perfect hatred. Because he had that understanding. Like, nah, nigga, you, you, a, you a demon, man. Yeah, just because you were Israelite, you wear fringes, that don't make you right. Okay, Matthew 7 chapter, in that day, many should come to me saying, Lord, Lord, or Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai. For I prophesied in thy name and done many works. And then what the scriptures say, Yahweh Shai going to say, Depart ye from me, ye that work iniquity, for I knew ye not. And that's a serious thing, man. See, a lot of, so you can sit there and, you know, do things that you want to do, you know, but at the end of the day, the Lord's righteousness is what's gonna rain. Just like it says in Rome, I'm gonna get Romans real quick. Romans uh Romans 10 and 1. It says, this is the apostle Paul speaking, right? He said, Brethren, he said, My heart's desire and prayer to the most high for Israel is that they might be saved. And again, and the Apostle Ron Love even mentioned it on the show he did the other day. I caught some of it. You know, at the end of the day, it's not that we sitting there, you know, because Yahweh Shai said he would that that uh, uh, no man die, or he's not come to destroy men. You know, roughly paraphrasing it. And we're not looking for, you know, it ain't like we have some hate shit and like fuck all is, no. But we understand the reality of it, man. A lot of these niggas are straight up demons, man. 
the enemies of the Lord. So they're not going to make it this time. All right. But yeah, of course, the Apostle Paul said it. Like if it was up to him, right? He'd have, he'd have took on the curses Yahweh Shai did. He would have sat there, you know, and, and prayed and hoped Israel would have got right. So it goes beyond that of what you feel or your feelings, man. And that's why you got to learn how to separate your, your emotions and your feelings from the, the, the truth. Because your emotions will get you fucked up. Your emotions will get you killed. Most niggas that get killed is because of their emotions. And those emotions they learn from their fucking mother. All right? Because the women, which that's, they lock. They're the weaker vessel. Women operate off of emotions. Men, men are not, men are not supposed to operate off of emotions. All right? It's a saying that women can afford to be careless, but men can't. Meaning careless, meaning going according to your emotions. You see? So now, uh, what we have, Romans 10. It says, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of the most high, but not according to the knowledge. You see? And then first John, was it first John's the second chapters tell you that there's no lie that's of the truth. So if you got the knowledge, you can't have a lie inside it. You gotta have the hundred percent truth, which a lot of people got offended and, and mad about. But it's the truth. You gotta have a hundred percent truth. You can't have partial truth, you can't have lies mixed with the truth. So it said, I bear them record that they have a zeal of the most high. And a lot of these Israelite groups, there are some that are sincere, but it ain't just about being sincere. You gotta have the right understanding of your how about from outside. These things are deep and serious, man. They get looked over and everybody went going that, you know, that, uh, what's that? Fantastic voyage spirit, you know, come along and let's all, nah, this ain't a fantastic voyage. First of all, if you're a brother, you gotta be, you know, in the same faith. You got to be serving the same power that I'm serving, man. You got to be serving the Father in sincerity and in truth. You can't be sitting up there coming with falsehoods and, you know, all your emotional shit. Because you got a lot of these guys, they just form their own thing. The Lord ain't with that, man. You know? Yeah, 2 Timothy 1 and 6. That's another good one. It says, For I bear them record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. So that's why you got these, and you know, again, it ain't nothing personal, but shit, I ain't gonna, you know, I ain't gonna bite my tongue. I ain't got no hair on my tongue. And none of us do. From the, the bishops, I mean, the apostles, bishops, elders, you brothers, the Lord ain't make us with no hair on our tongue. So we gonna speak what we gonna speak. Romans 16 and 17, if you go off, we gonna get upon you, man. Right, according to the scriptures, according to the spirit of Yahweh, about me, I was shy. But at the end of the day, it's not personal, it's spiritual business. But nah, we can't come together, man. We can't, unless you under the doctrine of Yahweh, about me, I was shy. Unless you believe in the same thing we believe in, which most of these guys don't. And the Lord said, for they being ignorant of the most high's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness. So that's why you see these guys doing things, you know, and again, shalom to all you walking out there. You see these guys doing things that go back to the old school, things that would have never flew back then, you know? They sit there and try to con condemn us and point the finger at us. We ain't, we still teaching everything, and there's certain things that the Lord showed us, more things that we knew back then, but we ain't sit there and justifying these devils. We ain't, uh, we ain't uh, sitting there selling out. We're not teaching the, uh, uh, the stay in Babylon doctrine. We're not teaching contrary to the scriptures of what we believe. We're not with this uh, queen of heaven worship, all right? That wasn't taught back in the school, man. Back going back in the, in, in the old uh, one west when I came in, there wasn't no uplifting these women, man. We was going into the scriptures, First Corinthians 11 chapter, First Corinthians 14 chapter, Timothy, all right, uh, Genesis 3 and 16. We was focusing on the scriptures and establishing righteous order through the spirit of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. But through guys, you know, whatever, falling off and like the scriptures say, establishing their own righteousness. Now you got these guys that's paying attention. Oh, the sisters, the sisters and the woman and the women's classes and women at the camp, all kind of stuff that's off, man. So we'll never, we can't uh, uh, link up with them. Yahweh Shai wouldn't get with these guys, man. Because why? They're not doing what Yahweh Shai said. He said, if you, uh, John, uh, was it John 14, Matthew 14 and 15 or John 14 and 15? Yahweh Shai said, if you love me, keep my commandments, man. Meaning keep the order that he gave. All right, the commandments in the scriptures. He gave the order and he set things up. You're supposed to keep it like that, man. All right. And then a lot of you guys, the scriptures say, if somebody else come with something different, the same as a thief and a robber. So a lot of these other Israelite groups, I got to call it like it is, 
They're not sincere, man. They got ulterior motives, man. A lot of them are working with Esau, man. Don't be surprised if they do some carnal shit and try to get brothers tied into it. So that's why you, you can't, the Lord ain't going to have us, and the most I ain't looking for a big group. The scriptures say broad is the way that leadeth into destruction, man. All right? Yeah, the water, right? yep, John 10 and 1. Okay? So it ain't about a thing of numbers, even though you got a lot of guys that get simple. They be like, oh, we got a lot of members. Uh, one guy said, oh, we want to be the biggest church in camp uh, in, Bab uh, in America or some shit he said. Dude, that was with IUIC back then. That's simplicity, man. The Most High is not dealing with that, man. All right? So it says, uh, for they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves into the righteousness of the Most High. So they fully still ain't even came into the truth yet, man. A lot of these guys that are Israelites, and they probably know a lot of things. A lot, a lot of these guys have studied in certain history or in the law, or this, that, and the third. But if it's not of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, it's in vain. All right? The Lord said, let not the wise man glory in his wisdom. All right? Let not the strong man glory in his strength. You got some guys out there, they might be strong. They might been, be into the uh, martial law. That don't mean nothing with the Lord. That's not going to get you uh, uh, salvation because, you know, you, you're a black belt in this. You know, or, or you know how to, you know what I'm saying, do this and do that. That ain't going to get you in good graces with the Most High. What's going to get you in good graces with the Most High is being humble, sincere, of a contrite heart, as the scriptures say. It says, for they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. So that's why they buck up against the scriptures when we tell them things that pertain to the scriptures about the prophecies, the mark of the beast, World War Three, the Lord coming back, all right, uh, uh, you name it, the law's still being established, uh, the Lord, Lord set man to be up over these women, all right, that's the order of things, how was shot, 1 Corinthians 11 and 1, you know, there's plenty of things that they don't want to accept, all right, we're not supposed to be sitting there buddy, buddy, pally, pal, in our platforms with guys that are straight up demons, man, that are the devil. We're not supposed to be going to their platforms. The scriptures say, cast not that which is holy into the dogs. So for you to do that, that means that you don't got which is holy. You don't got the real wisdom of the Jews. If you had the real Jews, you wouldn't sit there and cast them to the swine. All right? But anyway, I'm going you know, to end it there. I just wanted to speak on that because when I seen the video, and this is something that comes up time and time again, a lot of people say, well, why y'all can't get along? Uh, uh, you know, I like this camp. I like that camp. It ain't about all that shit. It's about the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai at the end of the day. It's about Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai according to what the, the word says. So every camp is, is not going to be doing or be in agreement. All right? And the Lord said in that day, my servant should make, be made known. So you all know who the real men are. It's, it's going to be easy. And there's no excuse because 1 Timothy 2 and 15 says, study to show thyself approved. A lot of brothers that you know, we come across and they're coming to this thing, which is might be some of you brothers on a comment board. A lot of brothers said, nah, I went and, before they joined the camp or before they went and researched and looked at everything up. They said, nah, these brothers is on point. Start, start nigga. But he's a nigga. All right. He might get mad that we call him a nigga, but he's a nigga. He said, look, man, as far as I can see, GMS, they're the only camp that's on point. They're the most on point when it comes to the Bible. Because the Lord gave us that. You understand? But, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's about the elect, man. You know, only the, the righteous brothers, the elect brothers, are going to hear this word. You know, Yahweh Shai said, my sheep hear my voice. And if you're not part of the sheepfold, then you're not going to get it. You know? It's that simple. But with that, you know, I hope, hope that uh, you sincere Akim, sincere brothers, sincere uh, sisters that are out there. Hope, hope y'all was edified. And as always, we give all glory and praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, and Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash, and I say Shalom.